how can we add custom fonts and font sizing uh, to various components on our site? It is super easy. Inside Site Sales, you'll notice that we have a fonts section here. And when you add this, you'll notice we have a bunch of font swatches for you to choose from. Now on your machine, you might be missing a few of these. If you have Font Pro, you'll notice that all of the Font Pro stacks are integrated directly into Site Styles now. You no longer need to add the Font Pro stacks to your page, you can just add them directly into Site Styles. Now I'm not gonna re be reviewing these Font Pro stacks right now, but that is a great win for Font Pro users. Now if we add the Font Style stack to our page, this stack allows us to customize um, the font styles for our fonts, such as the sizing, do we want it bold or italic, and so on and so forth. Now at the top here, you'll notice the normal kind of swatch selectors from most swatches, but font swatches have a few other niceties that you can use. For example, if you want to apply something to a paragraph tag and an H6 tag, right? You can simply click on these buttons to apply this style to particular types of objects page-wide. Now you can also check this page-wide default setting if you wanna make this the default setting across all text on the page. Then you can override that settings with other swatches. So if we look down at the font styles, we can then, we can customize the size. So do we want, uh, what size do we want on small, medium, and large? We, we can also make, define the exact weight of our font that we want as well as make the particular piece of text italic. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a class called Big Text, and I'm gonna make it 24 pixels across the board. Um, and simply, I'm just gonna to go to this one text stack, and I'm gonna add in the Big Text class. And what you notice is it made all the text in there really big. Now the next two swatches are all about managing font families. So the WebSafe uh, font, this will actually allow you to define web safe fonts that are considered to be safe uh, to be used. So we're not loading any external font. These are fonts that are loaded inside the OS. Um, so if you can use these fonts, you, you should because they're gonna be a lot faster. Doesn't need to be downloading any sort of uh, Google fonts or any external font files. All these fonts are considered to be safe to use across all devices because they are installed natively on devices. Now next, a very popular web service is called Google Fonts. So Google provides a vast online resource for fonts that we can use, right? And um, this stack is really simple to use. Um, so what, let's, let's do this here. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, add for all headers, so for all H1, H2, H3, H4, H5, and H6s, okay? So for all headers on my site, I want to uh, make the font Open Sans, which is, the default font inside this stack, but it is a very nice uh, font from Google, okay? And probably it's a header, so let's do like a 600 font, 600 weight. Um, now you do have to verify that that particular weight actually exists for that font on Google Fonts. Um, I just happen to know that uh, 600 does exist. So if we go to Google's Fonts website, we can sur simply search or browse through all these available fonts. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna search for Open Sans, and here we go, I'm gonna click on Open Sans, and if we say select this font, uh, the best place that I've seen that we can see the weights is if we um, click uh, on it and we go to the customize in Open Sans and you'll see all of the available sizes so that we see that Open Sans is available in 300, 400, 600, 700, and 800, right? So now we know that I'm safe to use this in 400 and 600 weights or 700 if I see fit. Now Google Fonts has a plethora of really great fonts that you might wanna use. So make sure you check this out. So going back into Rapweaver, I'm gonna choose 400 for normal weight and 700 for bold. And uh, if we preview this, we will see that now Open Sans is being used for my headers. So let's say as my page-wide default font, um, and maybe I apply it to paragraphs as well, um, I wanna use another font. Another popular font on Google is called Roboto. Okay. And uh, let's just use it for 400 weight. Um, and I'm not even going to load um, bold. So let's preview that. And we'll see now I have Open Sans um, as my header font. And the page by default font for paragraphs and lists and text is going to be Roboto. Now, again, if you wanted to use your own font file, I recommend checking out Font Pro. 
It allows you to have uh, web safe fonts as well as things like Adobe fonts and Hoffler fonts. So there's a lot of really great, more advanced um, styles of available as well inside Font Pro.